Hey, fragrant friends, it's Jay. It's been about a week. I've been staring at this fragrance for a week now and I've got myself together. I'm gonna do this video. Um, I'm a little nervous, I'll tell you why, but first I'll introduce the fragrance. Now this is Oud Mood Elixir. Um, I have the Oud Mood and I have the Oud, uh, the Musk Mood. Now I really like both of those. Um, so when I saw there was an elixir, I was really, really, um, interested. I thought it was going to be just a um, maybe something more richer. I don't know how they would make Oud Mood more rich. I mean, I guess they could, but <clears throat> it's a pretty, you know, heavy, thick fragrance. So I was wondering if it was just going to be more intense. And in that case, I wasn't really going to be interested. But when I saw that it was a fragrance that included um, a lot of my favorite fragrance notes, so it has saffron in it, um, there's nutmeg and cinnamon, which I love, especially the nutmeg, um, oud and leather, I do like oud, um, I'm learning to like leather, I like oud um, in small doses, and I like a clean leather, a soft leather, a creamy, you know, very soft leather. Um, it also has amber, sam sandalwood, and um, vanilla in here. So, uh, like I've heard this fragrance was, I heard a review on it, and it was said to be creamy, kind of silky smooth, with those warm spices right up my alley, okay? But I also read on Fragrancica, uh, which makes me a little bit nervous, that it <laughs> somebody felt like it was cheese-like parmesan cheese like um, mm. um another review said that it kind of smelled like urine so i don't know what i'm gonna get from this fragrance <laughs> we're gonna see you guys are going with me on this trip right i hope so um i need some support um but we're gonna flip this coin and we're gonna see what we get okay so i'm gonna go ahead and open the cellophane and i'll be right back okay okay i'm back cellophane off so here's the packaging it's really beautiful it's gold um this says oud mood um where does it say elixir oh there's elixir right there um here's the authentication sticker um let's go ahead and open this up oh let's see well it has one of these so I, all i have to do is just put it um back through the hole and it'll be okay actually it is okay anyway here is the packaging there's the top be careful about picking these packages up from the um the top because the lid um you, know, you see how easily that came off and it's a pretty heavy bottle so it can drop um but the lid is heavy as well um here is the bottle which is the traditional ribbons i really like the ribbons on the bottle and it's fabric here too um stuck on so let me go ahead and get my strip i'm gonna put it on skin too and i'm gonna also um, spray it on my shower curtain as i do just so i can get a feel for what it's like on my skin what it's like on the test strip and what it's like in the air okay um let's see here First spray. What do we get? Okay, there's no cheese so far. There's no urine so far. A lot of leather. A lot of oud and leather um, so far. And it's that fresh leather that's kind of um, that fresh, bright leather. If you smell ka'ed, um, it's that type of leather. Okay, um, definitely have to get used to this. It needs to die down, dry down. Okay, it's almost like um, oh, slightly rubbery maybe. I can see where um, it's trying to come together. It's not heavy so far, um, but there's a lot going on. And it feels like, there, like I said, a lot of leather. There's a lot of um, woods in here as well. It's, it's lifted though. It's not weighing heavily on me. I don't feel like it's thick, thick. Um, 
I don't smell a whole lot of um, the warm spices that I was hoping to get, um, but when I was looking at the accords, it did say warm spicy was one of the main accords, and so I'm hoping that that might develop a little bit more, um, especially on my skin. Um, so it was definitely um, more warm spicy than the leather and the oud, than powdery and sweet and I think vanilla too, of course, but I'm not getting much of that on the strip, okay? So that's my first impression on the strip. Um, I'm gonna spray this here on my arm. So, got a good spray. Mm. I don't know, guys. I might understand a little bit of the funk that um, that person was talking about. And oh, though, I don't know. It's it's a little barnyardy. It's animalic. It, it feels a little bit funky. Mm. Okay. I'm going to let this sit for a little bit. Um, hopefully it settles down a little bit or a lot. Um, animalic oud is not my thing. Um, I, ooh, I don't know if I would like this one. Hopefully it goes in a different direction. I'm trying to see if it's settling down, but when I sprayed it on my skin, uh, it definitely came out more than it did on the strip. I got more of the leather on the strip, so my skin brought out that funk. I don't know what that says. Maybe I'm just funky, but... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry down a little bit and um, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I definitely have some thoughts um, on this Oud Mood Elixir. Um, it's been about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes since my last clip. Um, so I sprayed this fragrance as you guys saw on my wrist. I sprayed it on the fragrance strip and I sprayed it in my bathroom. Um, the funk that was there in, um, on the initial, you know, part, I guess I'm saying initial because I'm getting to the fact that it did not last too long, um, on my skin. The funk was there maybe about five minutes or so, and then it definitely started to dry down on my skin. Mm -hmm. Now, once I notice something, I'm always looking for it, I think. And so I feel like I always got just a whiff of it, just a slight whiff of it could have just been me because I knew it was there uh, from the beginning. Now, I don't know that it was strong enough uh, that somebody who wasn't necessarily looking for it and didn't get that effect on their skin, I don't think that you would get that on your skin. And I'm not sure that you know, you'd know you be able to smell it in the air. I didn't necessarily, like I said, it's just because I already knew it was there. Um, on in That's on my skin. <laughs> in the air from the shower curtain on fabric, and on the test strip, I don't get that funkiness. Um, it's just more of, of a like a clean leather, very, very leathery and woody scent. Um, the sweetness is dialed way down. There's not a lot of sweetness. Um, and there's not a lot of spice, actually. I feel warmth. I feel like this fragrance is, is warm, but it is not the, like the sweet, spicy, um, nature that I was expecting, that I was expecting from the cinnamon and the nutmeg. I, I feel like those are sweet, creamy spices and I felt like um, they didn't really come off in this fragrance. I didn't perceive them really in this fragrance, but like I said, there is a warmth to it. Um, slightly powdery, um, but it's light. This fragrance is very light and um, spraying it in my bathroom, my little test method, testing method, um, I sprayed seven sprays on my shower curtain, which is cloth, um, and I closed the door to the master and just kind of let the room, you know, see what was going to happen in the room um, with this fragrance. And it's not necessarily a room filler. The projection is not as big or as, as out as far, I guess I should say. Um, it didn't fill the room the way the Nebris did or the way the Yakin did. Um, even though those did fill the room, they were very soft and polite and airy in the way that they did. It wasn't gonna choke anybody out, but it was just more of like a, what's that smell? It's beautiful, you know? But this one, it didn't even really get that far. 
So this one I feel doesn't project as well as the other two. Um, and I feel like the longevity would be lacking on this fragrance too because even it being an hour or so um, after I sprayed it, I feel like I really have to kind of get close to my skin. I don't feel it around me at all. I, I think I sprayed two or three sprays. And you know, normally I'd be able to get it um, before I got to my skin. But I feel like now it's a skin scent and it's more powdery, it's clean. Mm, I don't know if there's just a, li just a little bit of funk, but again, I don't know if that's me. Um, so it's it's a very clean leather, um, slightly funky oud on your skin. You may not be able to get it. Um, not a lot of sweetness at all. Warm, but not spicy. Um, slightly powdery fragrance. Um, and it re did remind me of um, a fragrance I already have in my collection, a fragrance that I've talked about before that I feel is really, really nice and more uh, suited for me. This is Kaed. Um, this fragrance definitely is more uh, condensed, I guess I should say, more dense, more rich. As far as the composition, I feel like there is just more of the fragrance here. Um, I don't have to search for Kaed, um, and it's sweeter. Kaed definitely has more vanilla in this fragrance and more of the spices. I, pill, I pick up the soft spices in here a lot more. And I just feel like I don't have to search for this one. Um, so if I were gonna spend my money again, I would definitely not buy the Oud Mood Elixir. I would definitely spend my money on Kaed. Um, like I said, I don't think that on fabric you're gonna get that funkiness because I didn't, eat, or on the test strip, I didn't get the funkiness. Um, but I don't know that I, I, w I would wear this fragrance. I mean, if it if I needed to be in a place with low projection, um, with a, to wearing a fragrance with low projection, I would spray this on my clothes um, as long as they were darker because you see the, the liquid is a little bit ambery, so I don't know how that would um, change over time, but um, it could work that way for me. It could work uh, maybe as a room spray. I don't know that I'm very attracted to this fragrance, but if you are somebody who's looking for, or maybe has tried Kaed and you didn't like the level of sweetness that was there, you might consider um, Oud Mood Elixir because it is um, definitely not as sweet. Um, just be informed that I didn't get a lot of projection and I don't feel like this is a very strong or heavy fragrance at all. So those are my thoughts on Oud Mood. If you guys have any experience with this fragrance, definitely put them in the comments. I'm very curious to know um, other people's um, responses to this fragrance or experiences with this fragrance. So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed for the, uh, the video. You know what? Let me go ahead and pick out the, the next fragrance that I'm going to review. I have them all here on the side, so I'm just going to look at you guys, and I'm just going to pick something. I'm just going to pick something up. Okay, so this next one is I Am White, the Anna Abied, but this is the Poudre. So the next video is um, going to be me trying this fragrance out. So Hope you guys tune in and I'll see you then. Thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you guys for coming back. I really appreciate you. <laughs> That's all for today. Love, Jay.